Hello friends, welcome to the Southern Mountain Kitchen. Today we're going to make biscuits using only two ingredients. So when you look at my counter today, if you've seen any of my other videos, it's always loaded with ingredients and we literally have two things we're using. Some self-rising flour and some heavy cream. And that's what we're going to use to make these biscuits. So go ahead and preheat your ovens to 425 degrees because these are going to have to bake for at least 20 minutes until they're golden brown until they're done. So we're going to start off with our self-rising flour. And what you want to do is take a whisk and fluff it up because we want to add some air to this flour because if it's really dense, really packed, um, it's not going to bake up very well. So the more you stir it up, the more air you add into it, the better it's going to bake. And I know that sounds a little crazy, but it is true. You have to just mix it up with your whisk, get it light and fluffy, and that's just going to make it all the better when you go to make these. So probably you could stir this around for about a minute or two and you'll be pretty good to go. Then to this, we are going to add our heavy cream. Now, you're going to go and put part of this in at a time and then mix it up a little and add some more probably. It'd be easier to manage. You're going to use a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half of heavy cream. Now, what you want to do is get a consistency to where it stiffens up but it's not too hard and you don't want it too runny and wet it's kind of middle of the road but also when you're mixing this up you just want to mix it together you don't want to push on the flour too much you don't want to knock out all the air that you've already put into it so stir it up get it a little wet and then go ahead and add in more of your heavy cream now i'd say use a cup and a quarter at first to see how much absorbs into this and if you need more you can add it later after you mix this up a bit but the whole idea is to get this to a point to where all the flour is sticking together in like a lump. Now I'm making mine in a cast iron skillet in the oven because you know these cast iron skillets are wonderful. You can put them on a stove, you can put them in the oven, you can put them anywhere. But I'm going to put oil around the inside of it to make sure that the biscuits don't stick. Now you can do this on a regular pan if you want to, if you want to use parchment paper or whatever to bake them. It's perfectly fine. It's still the same, the baking time, temperature and everything else. So we're going to take some flour, put it onto our surface that we're going to be working on, scoop the biscuits out onto it, and basically what we're going to do is pat them down a little bit till we get at least, I'd say, half an inch or more thick. And then once it's like a flat surface on top, we're going to use a biscuit cutter to cut these. And that's the way we're going to do it. And I have to tell you, if you don't have a biscuit cutter, you need to get one. Especially if you like biscuits, it makes life so much easier to use one of these. And they really don't cost that much. So, you know, check out your local store. I think mine came from Walmart or someplace like that. Um, they're really just not that expensive. So anyway, once your dough has been patted out, we're just going to take the cutter and cut the biscuits. And pull them to the side. And then when you get them all cut... We're going to put them on whatever surface you're baking. Like I said, I'm using a cast iron skillet. And once you get them up and set to the side, then once they're all cut, you put them in. And we're going to pop these in the oven once our temperature is up in the oven. You want that oven hot before you put these in. And like I said, about 425 degrees, at least 20 or so minutes until they start to brown. And they're going to look something like this. Then you're going to take some butter. Just get a stick peel the paper back on the end of it and go over top of each one of these like maybe twice because they're hot and they're going to have the butter melt and come down on top of them and this is going to give such a great taste to it just to give it butter now you're going to say oh that's a third ingredient nope you don't have to do the butter i'm just saying it's something you can do you don't have to otherwise you had biscuits before that butter ever got there and at the end this is what you have the butter will melt down and they'll look wonderful So if you're looking for something that's really like fluffy biscuit that tastes really great, this is it. It's so easy, two ingredients, you cannot go wrong. It's so quick to make. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you get a chance, check out my cookbooks, which are available in bookstores worldwide. The first is about everyday cooking. The second is all about baking. Have a great day.